this video, I want to briefly review a chapter I wrote with my colleagues Richard West, Peter Rich, and Brad Hokinson. It's called Instructional Design for Learner Creativity, and it's in the fifth edition of the Handbook of Research in Educational Communications and Technology. At the beginning of our chapter, we review a lot of the recent research that talks about what creativity is and how we can recognize it and define it. But an important aim of our chapter as well is we want to address the question, uh, can creativity be taught? And our answer to this is a resounding yes. Uh, creativity is not an attribute that people are either born with or not, but teachers can absolutely do really important things uh, as part of their teaching to help students develop into more creative people. But it comes with a caveat. We can't consider creativity a curricular add-on. Uh, there are no surefire creativity techniques. Uh, this is a quote by Baghetto and Kaufman that we cite in our chapter. More important than individual techniques is creating holistic environments that support students as they're nurturing their abilities to become more creative people. So in our chapter, we highlight three examples of these kinds of holistic environments that seem to make a difference in, in helping people uh, move towards more creative outcomes. So the first of these is maker spaces. We also review robotics competitions and studio environments. And as we examine uh, these three, we summarized principles that educators can consider to help transform learning environments so they support uh, students in achieving these more creative outcomes. I'll just briefly review three of these uh, in this video. The first is to consider the system and the space design in which learning happens. Set up the space so that students bump into people or ideas that are different from what they expect uh, or allow people to work across disciplinary boundaries. The second principle is to nurture, set up the environment so it nurtures the attributes associated with creativity. So some of these are student autonomy, uh, improvisation and playfulness and a, and a willingness as well to accept failure. Now, especially on this last point, teachers can play a critical role uh, in helping students see failure as a productive set step towards an eventual creative success rather than a defect that needs to be eliminated. And the third principle is to promote a student's holistic creative development. Uh, creativity is developed when students encounter open, complex situations, even messy situations. So don't eliminate the messiness uh, in an attempt to wrap up a lesson quickly or uh, to meet a, a, some kind of predefined schedule. Now, if you're interested in learning more about promoting holistic creative environment for uh, learner creativity, uh, you can learn more by reading the whole chapter, Instructional Design for Learner Creativity. Uh, you can see more by visiting AECT.org.